welcome back to the channel. Again, those of you new to the channel, if you haven't already, support the channel by slapping that subscribe button, dinging that bell for notifications, giving it a big thumbs up, and comment down below. I will reply to the comments, and if I like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. In the last video, if you remember, we did a comparison test, sand test, between the Centria 2 and the Ultimate G. Now, the results were quite surprising. The heavyweight champion won, obviously the Ultimate G being the heavyweight champion, and the lightweight champion lost out, but I think it was by 3.9 grams. So that was quite a surprising result. Um, I hope you all enjoyed that one, and what we're going to do to get back into it, we're going to do another one, another Ultimate G comparison test. Someone's requested this one. We're going to do the Ultimate G fight off against the G6. So what we'll do is we'll get straight to it. Hello and welcome to round two of the G7 fight off against the G6. Now both these Heavyweight champions are running at, at 635 watts. They both weigh a staggering 24 pounds each. So they've both got the heavyweight championship to, to go for. And also what we've got, roughly the same thickness as a G4 bag. And then we've got the G7, which is running on a very thin bag. So we'll see if that bag actually makes a difference to the airflow and whether it's gonna suck out still more sand and grit than what the G6 can. They're both running the same wattage, and apart from the bag difference and a little switch that changes power settings, they're both running exactly the same. So what we'll do is we'll see which one of these heavyweight champions are gonna win this sun test. So what we'll do is we'll get straight to it. So what I've done is the bags I used previously, I've just fat them out with the crease tool, um, which has worked quite well because there's only sand in there. So I've marked them up as bag A, and bag B. So what we'll do is we'll just weigh them and see what their starting weights are. Now the scales are zeroed, so I'm going to weigh the scales are zeroed, so I'm going to weigh bag A first. So just drop that on. Bag A weighs 68.25 grams. Okay, and then we'll go for bag B. Okay, which is going to come in at 67.9 grams. Zero grams. Ah, oh, 0.92. Okay, so that's 67.92 grams for bag B. Okay, so we're gonna stick bag B. You can see that. So we're gonna stick bag B in obviously the later model, which is the Ultimate G. Okay, and we're going to stick bag A, as you can see, in the G6, being the earlier model. And twist that around. That's on. Yeah. That's on. Okay, so bag B, bag A is in the G6, and bag B is in the G7. So to so stuff that in. And that, with that sense of zip, as I said on the previous episode, it's so much easier. So I think that's why Kirby went back to having a zip in the center. Because it goes in, but it still sort of hangs out. With a, with a half moon, I'll just find that a lot easier to zip up. So what we'll do is we'll just weigh out the sand. G7, we're going to use the green top. And that is 50.0910. 50 50.10, that's the G7. 50.0910. 50.0910. And we use the orange cup for G6. Ooh. That's 50 grams, just under. 50.1. We want almost to make it even. 
There you go, pretty close. 50.14. For the G6. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll vacuum this. I'll probably go over it about a hundred times. I'll vacuum it for two minutes. I'm not going to let make you sit through that. What I'll do is I'll put it in a fast mode, so we'll time lapse through it, and I'll play a bit of music while that's doing, and then we'll set it up ready for the sand test. Okay, so we're all set up. Um, G6 is set up and the G7, they're not plugged in yet, but I will do that. I've set up the poles, so what I'm going to do is just jump down and start pouring the sand down. Okay, so we've got 50.14 grams of sand that we're going to ring for the G4, G6. Okay, and again, I'm going to end up with green fingers and a green carpet. So, like I said in my previous video, this is going to lead into another video anyway. Um, because I'm going to have to shampoo all this out. And again, I won't be doing the depth test. Um, if you watch the previous video, you'll see that it's roughly 13 mil deep. So it's over half an inch deep, this carpet is. Again, like I said, I like to use a deep pole carpet to show the agitation of the oblique bush roll and how deep that is actually going in to the carpet. Okay, and I've used the same square meterage or footage for each. Okay, so we just jumped over to the Ultimate G and we're going to rub that sand in as well. Okay, so that's sunk right in, and as you can see, green fingers again, obviously the food colouring's coming off, but as, well, like I said, this will lead into my next video anyway. So what we'll do, is we'll get straight to it. Right, so headphone users, just turn them down, we'll take them out, and we're just going to do the 10 pass test. to the G6 and we're just going to do 10 passes so the headphone users turn them down So we'll take the G6 one out first. So this was bag A, and that had a starting weight of 68.25 grams. Okay, so we're at the scales. Give a shake. Like that. Like that. Okay. You go to bag A, okay. Bag A weighs 99.3, 99.35, 36. 
So bag A weighs 99.36. Okay, so that means, oh, it's turned off. All right, it was going 98.36. That's just turned off. Okay, so we started off with a starting weight of 68.25 grams. Um, and we have picked up, taken that away, 31.11 grams. That's the G6, only 1.11 grams with 10 passes. So now we're over to the G7. So we'll see if this thinner bag does actually make a difference to the airflow because they've got the same size motor. I'll just turn that bag out, trying to get any sand anywhere. There we go, so again, bag B. Just shut that down. Let's fold that over. That weighs, wow, so that weighs 103.77, 79, I've gone up, 78, go middle of the road, 78, because it keeps fluctuating. 35, 35.86 grams. So again, it's pulled out four more grams. I'll put the exact measurements on the screen at the end of the video. So what we'll do is we'll just go and get to the stats. So this is the end of the video. Again, those who are new to the channel, if you're enjoying the content and you're coming back for more, just make sure you slap the subscribe button and ding the bell to show your support. It will help YouTube pick up my channel more and help the channel grow. So what we'll do is we'll get straight to the stats. So I'm going to put my glasses on first because I'm really in pencil. And what I'll do is I'll put them on the screen. So we started off with bag A, which was the G6, and the bag weighed 68.25 grams. When I took it out, it weighed 99.36 grams, which gave us 31.11 grams it actually pulled out. And Again, this is shocking, but I did expect it. I did expect it due to the previous results with the Centria. Um, we had a starting weight of 67.92, which was the bag, um, and a finishing weight of 103.78, which meant that pulled out 35.86 grams. Now that was 4.75 grams more than the G6, that's how it's standing. Um, so obviously that thinner bag does make a difference. Um, so I'm, I'm just a standy with that. So I can't wait to see how that goes against the G4 with all the upgrades that I've done to it. So again, if you're enjoying the channel and you're enjoying the content, show your support by slapping that subscribe button, dinging that bell for notifications, give us a big thumbs up, and make sure you comment down below. I will reply to the comments. And if I enjoy what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.